Sveiki visi, su jumis sveikinuose aš Paulius Jekelis ir mes pasikalbėsime su Liviju Antaliu, Vilniaus Žalgirio komandos vienu iš lyderių. Pokalbis vyks anglų kalba, jeigu norite, jeigu nemokate anglų kalbos ir norite sužinoti, apie ką kalbėjome šiame pokalbė su Liviju, tuomet apsilankykite mūsų internetinėje svetainėje www.fkžalgiris.lt ir ten rasite visus įdomiausius šio pokalbio detalės. So, hi Liviju! Hello, or love again. Liviu, so very strange times in football and in the world right now. What do you do in the quarantine? How did your life change during this time? Yes, it's true. It's really very hard time for everybody, not only for sportmen or for football players. I think it's hard time for everybody. It's true. Uh, what I can say, I try to keep my shape. I try to make uh, training uh, every day if it's possible, and uh, to don't lose too too much the the my way. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the trainings that uh, that you do, about the exercises that you do every day? You go to run in the park somewhere, or you do everything at home? I make also home. I have here a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, I cannot show you because it's in in, uh, in the back of the camera. Uh, of course, I make here in the in the home uh, the training first of all, and uh, of course I I run also outside in the park. If and every day, of course. And uh, how you know I have uh, some problem with my back, and uh, in this uh, time I try to to fix this problem and uh, I try to be more strong. I make uh, some exercise uh, specific for uh, for my back. But uh, now, step by step, uh, I try also to to run, to go, to be better in, uh, like, uh, how to say, to have potential to run. Uh, so maybe from one side it's... Uh quite good for you that you have a little bit more extra time to to be fully prepared when everything will be will be as we are used to yes it's true you can say like this but i prefer uh, <laughs> i prefer to train with the pain and uh, and this situation is really hard situation and uh, i hope to don't be so so long uh, because everybody need to to feel the ball. Everybody want to be back in, in the pitch, and uh, this is uh, like our job. Uh, when was the last time that you touched the ball? Because uh, I I heard that there are some players that didn't that touch the ball like for two weeks, even three weeks. Uh, how about you? Uh, me, I think more <laughs> because uh, in the beginning uh, of this uh, period. I start to make only for the back. I start to make uh, uh, exercise here in my home for the back, and only in the last part of uh, this period I start to go out to also to run, to be better uh, in, in physical. So I will hope in next uh, next days to try also with the ball something. But how you know you can go only to to person outside, so <laughs> it's not easy to, to enjoy the ball. Uh, Livio, so for sure now you have much more free time because there are no games, there are no team trainings uh, and you have much more free time. So what do you do in your free time at home? Because some guys are playing PlayStation regularly and uh, some guys are cooking, some guys have families with them. How about you? Yes, it's true. You have a lot of free time now. Uh, of course, I start to cook, uh, and also I like to cook. Um, I try to make something new, <laughs> to to learn something new to cook. Uh, I watch some serials. Uh, of course, I make the training, and uh, I try to to read some books about the coaches. <laughs> so something like this, nothing special, but. Uh, only to to have something to do. Uh, you said uh, about some books uh, regarding coaching. Uh, you are already thinking what to do after your career is over, or just you know to improve. I don't know your your knowledge. 
Mm, I don't think uh, about uh, this now because it's too early. I'm not so old to to finish with the football, but uh, yes, I like it. I can say I like it, and uh, maybe after the football, I will try to to learn something more about the the coaches. But uh, now, because it's free time, you really you can uh, you can read something more, and uh, like this, you have more uh, knowledge. Uh, maybe have some book recommendations for the guys who are watching or listening. Uh, I cannot say like this because depends what you like to to read. Depends what uh, how to say uh, like in, like for me. I take some book from Romania, so I don't know. It's different, you know. Okay, but then about the serials, about TV shows, for sure you can recommend or at least tell us what what are you watching? Yes, uh, Casa de Papel. I was uh, watching um, Peaky Blender. I was watching. Uh, it's good. I'm watching also. <laughs> yes, really, they are uh, really good uh, serial. So I recommend for everybody. <laughs> uh, I watch also the Narcos, the El Chapo. It's a lot of serials what I watch in this period. <laughs> I think these are the the most popular right now, or at least yes, one of the one of the most trending on Netflix now. No? Yes, this is true. It's uh, they are the most popular right now in uh, Netflix. Uh, Livy, let's go back a little bit um, to the day. I remember we had uh, training. It was Thursday, I think, and on Friday we were supposed to play against Tritere. It would be uh, our second game in La Liga. Uh, how do you remember this day? Because for sure all the team were preparing for the match, you know, concentrating for the game, and then you just, like, uh, you know that you will not gonna play. What were you thinking at that point? And uh, could you imagine that this will be like a kind of serious thing that everything will stop for one month, two months? We don't know yet. Uh, yes, I remember. I remember uh, exactly Friday when the, before the game. Uh, and after uh, they announced that uh, you will not play Saturday with uh, Ritteri. Um, really, I, I was surprised because they, they cancelled the game, because it was like with one day before the game, and I think this game you can play, and after, of course, how it was in all, all the Europe, they stopped all the league, almost, <laughs> only Belarus and all, but... Uh, uh, I can say, yes, I, I believe, or not believe how to say in English, I understand the situation is not uh, so good and it will be such a such moment. But I hope in this moment to don't be so more longer. I hope in maybe in one week, two weeks to can train at least. So, and maybe in four weeks to start the the Aliga, if it's possible, of course. I think everybody wants, again, to to, to play. Uh, at the moment, the uh, Aliga have agreed that uh, when the quarantine status, uh, quarantine will finish in Lithuania, uh, there will be three weeks given for the teams to prepare for the, for the season. Uh, do you think, like, everything is going to start from the beginning? Because the players didn't touch the balls and, and training alone is like completely different. Do you think that Aliga will basically start from, from scratch, from zero? Uh, yes, I hear about... Uh, about uh, wait a little bit, I don't know what I was doing. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, I hear about, uh, about this. After the quarantine, quarantine, you have three weeks to prepare for the Aliga. Uh, of course, now in this moment, uh, you can say if you don't make the training in this period uh, like alone or uh, what the give the coaches give us for sure uh, you know you lost uh, everything what you do in pre-season this is the truth but uh, i think uh, everybody he was making the training i was speaking with uh, the guys in the team and uh, everybody tried to to stay in good shape and uh, so of course you will not be 100 percent. It's very hard to be 100 percent, but I think in these three weeks you can uh, you can go up 
with uh, with the physical part and with the ball and to be step by step uh, ready for uh, Aliga to play the games. Uh, how often do you talk with the guys from the team? Because all the guys are in Vilnius, of course. You cannot like uh, go and meet each other, meet each other in the in the big groups, of course, because only two two people can meet each other at the moment. But uh, do you talk on WhatsApp? Do you talk every day with the guys? Uh, how, how how is it? Yes, uh, yes, I was talking with uh, with the guys. So not every day, of course, but uh, every week and almost uh, after three three days. Uh, you have uh, one gr group uh, with uh, with the players, and they of course start to make joke or uh, send some video uh, funny and so on. So to keep in touch, and I hope to <laughs> in short time to to meet normal. Uh, you came to Jalgiris uh, quite a while ago, so it was it's your third season in Jalgiris, right? Yes. Uh, so. What kind of feeling you had inside of you before this season, when you already knew the guys, knew the new players? Uh, did you really believe that we can fight for for the title? And and we started the season quite well. What kind of feeling you you had about this season before the quarantine? Of course, how I say all the time, um, and how I feel it before the each each year, I feel that uh, you can win the Aliga, and of course you fight uh, in every every year to, to for the Liga. This year, uh, I think it's uh, really, you have really, really good uh, good team, really good players, and uh, not only the play, like uh, players, also like uh, guys, they are really nice, and uh, I hope and really I feel that uh, this year you must to, to fight, to try to win each game. So in the end, uh, I hope to be the the winner. But uh, it's, it will not be easy. It will not be uh, how to say because you're Jalgiris and you start uh, good in this uh, season. Uh, this is mean that you you win also the Aliga. You must to to go forward to work the same hard to be focused in uh, every step what you must to do. And uh, to be together, because there will be also the moments uh, when maybe you lose some games or maybe you make draws. So in this moment, it's important to be all together and uh, to know how to go again up and to to be again uh, to win again the, the games. So in this uh, way, maybe you can. Uh, you can win the Aliga, but uh, if you will not be 100% and uh, you will not give everything, this uh, part is very hard to, to win the Aliga. You see what happened in the last uh, three, week, three years. You don't win, even when you was in front of Sudova with, I don't know exactly, 12 points or something like this. Three, before three, three years when I was coming here. And you know, when you was not, no, no, uh, everybody knows focus. They think, they think maybe you'll win easy because you have uh, more than 10 points in front. You see what happened. Uh, we started season quite well. Uh, our biggest rivals at the moment in Lithuania, Sudova, they started season, let's say, not in the best way. Uh, they sacked their coach just a couple of days ago. Do you think that the, this uh, quarantine situation might help them a little bit because they were like struggling at the beginning of the season in those first two games, and now they have a couple of months and you know like everything as you said uh, will start from from zero again. Uh, in my opinion, you don't must watch the Sudova what they do or what they change or uh, what players they buy or they take or what coach they will bring. It's important to watch ourselves it's important to us to be in good shape and to be focused how I said before and uh, uh, to play our football and to, to try to, to to win every game and like this for sure it will be good I don't must to think about uh, Sudova or Ritter or Kaunas or another um, teams who is in Aliga it's important uh, our 
our uh, team. Uh, okay, let's go to the second part of uh, our interview. Uh, Liviu, for sure, you are following what's going on in Romania. Uh, can you compare the situation at the moment uh, in general, in life of Romanians, and also in, in terms of football in Romania and Lithuania? What's going on there? You mean now in this period? Of yeah, 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 yeah. Um, in Romania, it's in this moment more uh, harder situation there, I can say. Uh, because there are more people infected, there are more uh, people who die, so um, they put uh, more rules, strict rules. You cannot go out only if uh, you have the paper and good reason to go uh, somewhere, or maybe if you need to work, or um, I don't know. With the dog, exam like example, with the dog, you, you can go around of your uh, building or, or house, but uh, only to go to work you cannot go out and even if you go to to buy to to the shop something you need uh, also the paper you need to to read the paper exactly where you go which shop and uh, of course you must go in the nearest shop of you you cannot go like example how i live in Uzupis, i cannot go to pilate i must go who it's which is the uh, closer uh, shop for me and what about foot, football in Romania? About, uh, about the football, they, they, what I hear and what they talk, uh, they want to start in uh, 7 or 9 June. Uh, and the rest, uh, not so much. They, they wait also to, to be better, the situation. They wait also to, to start the trainings. I speak with some guys who they play in Romania and uh, everybody who waited this moment to start again. Uh, thanks for telling us about Romania. <laughs> so now, uh, before your interview, I posted on our Facebook and the fans uh, could uh, ask the questions for you. So I'm going to just uh, read the, the questions uh, and uh, you can answer if you like. Okay, uh, uh, okay so... Uh, first of all, first question, uh, Ericas is asking, uh, Livy, what's your favorite goal that you scored to playing for Jalgiris? Do, do you have a favorite goal? Favorite goal? Um, I can say it's in Europe, um, two weeks before, when he was playing with... Uh, with uh, Feroy Iceland, I think this team, or yeah, with, yeah. Galactic, no? or with this team from Vaduz, I don't remember exactly. Uh -huh. But I think this is one of the most, uh, maybe also important because you go straight to play with uh, <laughs> Sevilla, and there was a good uh, moment also for the club because you go on third round. So because in Aliga. I don't have exactly one, uh, uh, how to say, very important goal because you don't win the Liga, so <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, as you said, your favorite goal was scored for Jalgiris playing in European competitions. Uh, then I will ask a couple of questions uh, myself. Uh, Livio, you, for some Jalgiris players, uh, when we played against Se Sevilla, it was of course a really special day for, for all of them, I believe, but for you, it was not uh, the top opponent because you played in the Champions League group stage, you played in Europa League group stage. Uh, which games in European competitions during your careers, uh, your career, you remember the most, like like that you had this, the most special feeling? Because I just checked your statistics and you played quite well, in the, even in the Champions League, scoring, giving assists uh, against great teams like Inter Milan and, and, and teams yeah. like that. Uh, for me, I think it was the, with uh, Manchester uh, United. Uh, when I was playing in uh, Old Trafford, it was really, <laughs> really amazing. But also when I was playing uh, against Inter Milan, not the same. Also when I was playing from uh, in, uh, against uh, Fenerbahce, because I was scoring also for Fenerbahce, against Fenerbahce. Uh, but I think I choose uh, this with Manchester because uh, 
like a story, what they have behind, uh, what the player was in this moment there, and uh, I think this is uh, one of the the favorite I can say. But if I take like a how to say, because I was scoring or I I can take maybe Inter Milan or Fenerbahce. Uh, I just opened uh, the lineup uh, when you played for uh, Otelul uh, yes. against United. I just opened the lineup. Rooney scored like two goals. There, there are a lot of stars: Chicharito, Nani, Carrick, Valencia, Evra, Smalling, Vidic, and like all those big stars. How it is to play against uh, teams like this? The teams that are that are really on top of the world, and uh, basically you are playing in the best uh, league in the world, Champions League. Everybody dreams about playing there. Yes, it's true. The <laughs> When you when you you are there in Champions League, uh, there it's you can say the best players, the play, best coaches, the best uh, teams. <laughs> they are uh, in Champions League. Uh, this is the room. You have, of course, you have a, how to say a good feeling. You know, you feel uh, you're really football player. I can say like this. Uh, you really you're uh, satisfied because you work a lot to 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 be in in top level because I was starting to play football when I have uh, maybe seven years and uh, when you see that you are in this moment you know like Champions League or uh, Europa League or to win uh, some uh, like example in Romania to win the the league or here to win the trophy really you you are satisfied you you start to to say i don't uh, start the football for nothing you know so you start to be uh, happy for uh, yourself uh, which op- opponent was was the hardest to to play against which opponent during your career that w- that you you can say now wow it was so hard to play there and like incredible team it was uh, you mean the player or the team both like first oh. <laughs> the, the, we have time <laughs> the player i can take uh, evra and the uh, second it's this guy uh, i have this lapsus uh, uh, from inter milano the captain uh, one by the way one of the games where Livio played against inter was uh, finished ended with the result 2-2 so if you guys are listening, don't have any idea or clue about the, those games. The the results there were not big, and uh, uh, at the, that time the teams you were playing for were really competitive. So I'm watching the captain uh, was uh, Zanetti, right? Zanetti, yes. Well, for me, it was unbelievable. Isn't it? Of course, I have a lot of games. <laughs> it was really, really amazing player. Uh, by the way, we spoke. The guy asked you about your favorite goal for Jalgiris, but uh, I remember uh, you. There was one game in your career uh, in Romania. You scored two goals by bicycle kicks in one match. It's right. No, it's in two games. In two games. Yes, uh, was first of all against uh, against Turgu Mures, and the next game again I scored. It was like uh, in one week uh, the same two goals. You can say almost the same because <laughs> it was yes, it was a great moment. I can say this. Also, I think it's one of the the best goals for for me. Yeah, the because I, I saw the video, the atmosphere and the goals. Wow, really top class. Uh, mm-hmm. You scored many goals like that during your career. No, no, no. <laughs> I cannot. No, but, I. But not, not only two. No. Yeah, I have these two goals. Who it's uh, like. I think the most nice goals, but I have also another. But this is the, I think the, in the top. <laughs> okay, let's go for the questions. Uh, uh, Yaroslav is asking kind of cheeky question. He's asking, uh, what would you choose, to play one official match for the Romania national football team, or you would choose to play ten games in the European League uh, group stage uh, for Jalgiris? <laughs> <laughs> I think I will take uh, to play in the group stage of Europa League. Of course, also I, I, I like I would like to play for my country, 
it's true, but uh, if you, if he tell me like 10 uh, games for a national team or uh, 10 games for Europa League, maybe uh, I like this, I take uh, like to play for national team. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more question. Uh, do you miss Romania? And uh, if you would go back right now to play in Romania, uh, which club would you like to represent? Well, I miss Romania because it's my country, of course. But uh, also I miss like a football because uh, Romania start to be better and better the football and the people, they start to love again the football. They start to come in the, the stadium. A lot of people, they support the, the team, so this is really good. And if I want to go back to, to Romania to play for, I don't know, maybe I will choose uh, some teams who they have really good uh, fans. Like example, uh, Fetcher Rapid, who is in the second league now, but I believe that they will go, they will go in the first league this year. Uh, Dinamo Bucharest, uh, I know it's they are in really big problems in this moment, but um, they have amazing fans. Uh, of course, Dinamo Bucharest it's one of the best uh, team for uh, for uh, Romania. So I think this is uh, the the top uh, teams in. Uh, Romania, but in this moment, of course, also Craiova, they have really amazing fans and they have really good good fans all the time. I think there are 10, 12 thousand minimum in the stadium. So, and in the derby, it's full the stadium. Uh, I'm following one guy on Twitter and he's uh... He's, he's a journalist and he's just posting uh, all the crazy things that's going on in Romanian football. Do you, can you tell us, for example, one funny or interesting story from Romanian football that you experienced, for example, yourself? I don't know, because there are so many interesting people in Romania, like Becali. Uh, and, ah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean about uh, the owners and... Uh, the yeah, people. yeah. maybe you have like one short story just to tell us, or funny situation, because... Have you ever, by the way, met Becali? I don't meet him in front. I was speaking with him only in the phone because uh, some years before he wanted to take me, but uh, I chose to go to Turkey. So, uh, but uh, of course, uh, Gigi Becali is uh, one of the, how to say, special uh, honor. Legend. <laughs> yes, legend, you can say in, uh, in Romania all the time you hear about some story about him he's uh, how to say <laughs> he is he don't care about uh, nothing what if he want to say something he will tell you straight in front so something like this uh, and now in, in this moment i don't remember some uh, some story but if i remember i will tell you Mm -hmm. Okay, so keep keep in mind. Uh, yes. The guy is asking. Uh, Patrick is asking. Uh, Liviu, uh, what do you like in Jalgiris the most? Because you are playing here for the third season. Uh, so why why do, why are you here and, and why do you like Jalgiris? Uh, oh, I have a lot of how to say good points. What I like here. Uh, first of all, I like. Uh, I see they have uh, the Jalgiris uh, have the. Bigger fans, and this I like it. Uh, I like when the the stadium is full, and uh, even when the people they don't come to watch us, uh, but uh, our fans, it's they are in the the stadium, and this it's really really nice, and uh, I appreciate uh, because they are uh, they come uh, all the all the time every every game. I like uh, how they they try to to be with us the club to they, the club try to to make like to have good atmosphere it, they try to how to say to be in the best shape they keep when you're like example a little bit down they try to put you up again they don't uh, kick you I, I, if i can say like this and uh, you can feel like uh, like a family can feel that everybody wants to to be good, and this is really quite a really good feeling when you see around you everybody to try to support you or to help you with something if you have. So it's good. 
Okay, uh, some questions that the guy sent me to the private messages. Uh, leave you how many Lithuanian words do you know and can you can you show us your skills? <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, for me, it's a uh, hard, um, hard language. Uh, I would like example now I make comparing uh, with uh, the Turkey or uh, Israel because I was playing there and there I can I was learning more faster the, the language so Lithuania a little bit is different for me but I know some words like uh, Labadiana, Labazritas, Labas uh, Vakaras, uh, Keptu, Gerei Of course, also bad words. <laughs> <laughs> Nogara, or uh, I, I, little bit, but not so much uh, words. Uh, when you play on the pitch uh, in a Liga, and of course there are situations with emotions, and the guys, for example, start screaming some bad words in Lithuanian uh, against you. You understand them? <laughs> you understand what yeah. they want to say? <laughs> When it's bad word, I understand almost everything. <laughs> do you do you answer? In what language do you answer them? No, I don't answer. I want to be focused in my what I must to do. I can answer if I score against them, and it's better to answer like this. <laughs> uh, okay, some uh, more questions. Leave you. Do you have your favorite player now? And did you uh, did you have your favorite player when you were a kid? When I was a kid, uh, my favorite player was uh, Gattuso. Well, yes, tough guy. <laughs> yes, tough guy. Uh, I like the determination of him. Uh, I like how how you see him in the pitch all the time. He's one hundred percent, and uh, he's like a, like a dog. He wants to to kill everybody, to recover each ball, to fight for each ball. So really, really, really good, uh, good. Uh, Good player, in my opinion. Also, in Romania, it was uh, one guy the same. I can say the uh, Radoi. Now it's in it's uh, the coach of national team, Mirel Radoi, and he was the same, very tough guy and uh, the same worker. He worked a lot in for the team. And in this moment, I like, of course, Messi. For me, the Messi, I think it's the best player in the world. In also before, if you compare with Maradona or, uh, I don't know, with Pele, like example, of course I don't see him then live because I, <laughs> it's a long time uh, before, but uh, for me I think it's, I don't know, I, it's the best, I can say, it's simple, it's the best. Of course, also Cristiano, but if you put me to choose between them, uh, I choose Messi. Uh, Haji is a legend of Romanian football. Also, he, he was in, in, inspirement for you. Yes, Haji is. Uh, you you can compare with uh, with Messi, of course, but in Romania, it's. I cannot. Uh, he was not my idol because he is really have really good skills. He's really good. Uh, how to say? Uh, with the ball all the time was. Uh, it was amazing, like a Messi, like example. So I can see I cannot be like him. So maybe this I choose uh, Gattuso or I don't know. So for me, Haji, yes, it's, it's the best uh, player in the in Romania. He will be the best player in Romania, I think, a lot of years or so. Because I cannot see somebody to come to be better than him. Uh, one more question you exactly said about these dribbling things. Um, Olivia, you, you are a very clinical finisher, but you are not that good playing one against one and not the guy who are dribbling uh, so much with the ball. Uh, how did you develop these skills? That you are not a dribbler, but you are more finisher. You have one chance and you take it. Yes, uh, what I tell you before, I'm not like a Hajj or Messi to dribble three, four, five players. Uh, all the time I like to, to, to play one two touches. For me, you can dribble also like this if I play one two touch and I go in the space. So for me, it's also like a dribble. I don't must to go with the ball to dribble the, the guy. It's important to in the end to, to be in front of the, the goal and of course to, to score. Uh, and of course I, I like this feeling to score. I'm, how to say, I'm hungry to score. I, I want to score every game if it's possible. I want to score not even one goal. 
all the time I want to score how much is possible. I'm like this, I like to score. <laughs> but uh, when you were a kid or teenager, you were working more on finishing and not that much, for example, or, or on dribbling? Or these are just like natural skills that you have and you try to use them the most? No, I don't work in this part of my skills. So, like simple, of course, also when I was young, the same, I was liking to scoring, to scoring, to scoring, and maybe step by step, it's already inside of you, you know? So, I was the same when I was a kid. I was liking to, to score, not to dribble so much, to to make the, how to say, spectacle, how to say, you know? Uh, do you agree that uh, you are this kind of player that uh, really needs good partners who deliver you the balls? Uh, Yes, of course, when I have uh, one, uh, one good uh, player who can deliver me the ball in the space or uh, for me, it's more simple for me. This is the truth. This was also one of the reasons when the, I scored 30 goals in for a second uh, season because uh, I have a really good relation with uh, Thomas, you remember him with him. So, was really he feel me very well so this is uh, of course i need uh, somebody who can give me the dasis uh, also we have a question Livy, do you watch football in your free time or you just play so much and you when you are at home you don't want to watch football at all no i watch of course i watch uh, i watch also the romania league i watch the spain champions league europa league uh, i watch the games I watch also all the time how my game, like example, because I want to see what I do good, what I do bad, where I can be better, where I must to choose another uh, option. So, so you you watch all the games that you you took part in usually? Usually, yes. After Even... the game, because I cannot sleep because uh, after the game you're tired, so it's hard to sleep. Because you also your mind to think what I'm like this. I think what I was doing good, what I was doing bad. So uh, it's simple for me to watch the game, and uh, like this you can uh, find the answer. Uh, after the game, what time usually you you can sleep finally? Because I know there are guys who cannot sleep even until the morning, and I know a few guys who said that they don't quite care and they go home and they sleep well. This is good for this guy who can sleep. <laughs> Uh, I don't sleep in the morning, but uh, uh, I don't sleep like usually. So usually I sleep maybe like 12 o'clock, uh, and after the game maybe two or three depends, of the, or one maybe when it's depends of the the day. Uh, you said you are watching football in your free time. Uh, you mentioned uh, exactly La Liga, Spanish league. It's your favorite foreign championship that you are watching the most. Uh, yes, I can say I like the most the Spain. Maybe also because it's Messi there and Barcelona. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I like them. Of course, I don't watch all the games there. I watch mm, the games what is more important or when they play the the bigger teams. Uh, now there is like this quarantine, and uh, even on Lithuanian television. Many evenings you can watch some old games, you know, like uh, I watched, for example, the, the games from the World Cup in 1982. Uh, did you watch some old games during this time? Uh, yes, also in Romania, they, they, they make the same. They put the oldest, uh, oldest uh, games. So uh, I see some game also when I was playing <laughs> in uh, Romania. Uh, I watch, but not a lot because I, I, I know already the game. So <laughs> Uh, but when I don't have uh, nothing better to do, I watch the, also the old, uh, old games. So I think uh, that's it, Liviu. Thanks for finding a time and it was nice talking to us. And I hope that the guys enjoyed listening or watching our, our interview. And uh, I wish you the best of luck, uh, luck and I hope that we can soon uh, meet in uh, Jalgir's training center. Bye. Thank you very much and uh, all the best.